direct mean methods. But in most of our real life situations, data is usually so large that to make a meaningful study, it needs to be condensed as group data. For example, the marks obtained by students will be hardly 10, 20, 36, 40 and not 11, 12, 35, 55, 73, 96 also. Thus, a real table of marks obtained and its distribution and it's better to show the table as here we have group data of marks into classes. Here we have a table in which number of students corresponding to different class intervals are given. But to solve the sum using simple formula summation fixi, we require a point which would serve as the representative of the whole class. If we assume that the frequency of each class interval is centered about its midpoint, the midpoint or class mark of each class can be chosen to represent the observations falling in the class. This is false assumption and you can see why if you take marks of a few classes, class mark equals upper class limit plus lower class limit divided by 2. From the table, we can see that summation fi equals 30, summation fi xi equals 1860. The sum of the values in the last column gives us summation fi xi. So, the mean x bar of the given data is given by x bar equals summation fi xi divided by summation fi which equals 1860 divided by 30 which equals 62. This new method of finding the mean is known as the direct method. Note that 62 is an approximate mean and 59.3 is the accurate mean.